One week after collapsing on the field, DeMar Hamlin back in Buffalo this morning. The Bills safety discharged from the University of Cincinnati Medical Center yesterday and flown to Buffalo, where he will continue to recover at a hospital there. That's definitely good news. Doctors say Hamlin's improvement is an uplifting sign of the remarkable progress that he's made after going into cardiac arrest on the field. So joining us this morning, Dr. Mike, he's joining us this morning to break down the situation that many football fans had never seen before. Dr. Mike, good morning. Bill Bryant, good morning. It's a great day. It's a miracle. Thank God he's doing well. Uh, and it's all good. It all is, good. It is all good, Dr. Mike. I agree. So, Dr. Mike, let's start off with this. Can you explain? A lot of people are asking what may have triggered an event like that. Well, again, it's. Uh, uh, my opinions are coming from the sidelines, if you will, but most experts and most people think, and I brought a heart with me, so this is a young, healthy 24-year-old man at the top of his game in great physical shape. If you watch the replay, a helmet came to his chest, mm -hmm. and he got up and then collapsed. Now, what most people think happened was that incident which was not a not anything out of the ordinary but because it happened at exactly the right time of the uh, uh, contraction and relaxation of his heart it led to a rhythm disturbance so it led to either ventricular fibrillation or ventricular tachycardia that's not a rhythm that is good for you, and that's why he collapsed. Now, the thing that saved his life was the fact that he was on that field and people ran out. As soon as they noted he didn't have a pulse, they started CPR, and they used an automatic external defibrillator to shock him back into a normal-type rhythm. That saved his life because the vast majority, uh, Bill and Brian, of people like, like us out on the street, you go down with this kind of a situation, uh, you, it's, it's highly unlikely that, that you're going to make it. Uh, so that's why it's a miracle. It, it is a beautiful day. It's a miracle. Huge credit yeah. to uh, the first responders there to, to save his life. Um, I've heard people refer to this incident as a heart attack. Uh, apparently, it's cardiac arrest. So what happens when somebody goes into cardiac arrest? <clears throat> so basically, if you think about it, he's a young, healthy guy. It was not a heart attack, in my humble opinion. It was a cardiac rhythm problem. And so the rhythm problem is what led his heart not to be able to pump blood up to his brain. And if that happens, you go down, you pass out. And so that's what I think happened. Now, the big question in my mind, so if uh, he was my patient and I'm an internist, uh, I would ask the cardiologist, I'd say, okay, now look, he took a hit with a helmet. Uh, wasn't that that massive of a hit? Does he need something to prevent this from ever happening again? So will it be medicines? Will it be an implantable defibrillator? That's what's going to have to be answered uh, as time goes on. But, I mean, he's rapidly recovering, doing well, off the ventilator, went back to Buffalo. Uh, it's, all, it's all good. Uh, I, I think that, it, that it'll take some time, but I think overall he's going to be just fine. And in my opinion, we'll have a normal life span uh, as long as he didn't suffer any significant damage. Uh, but I, I think he, he's going to be just fine. The question is, will he play? That, that, that's the million dollar question. Dr. Mike, we appreciate your professional opinion on that. Have a great day. You guys rock. You're the best. <laughs> wow. All right, Bill Bryant, you're the man. Thank you you're so much.